Welcome to the third episode of the Crumble Cookie Weekly Review. I cannot tell you how much I look forward to these things, boy. Every week the excitement just grows that much quicker. So today we're going to be reviewing the four specialty cookies. We are going to be reviewing the original with M&Ms, the chocolate caramel cookie, the New York cheesecake, and the chocolate covered strawberry. Now, we had a slight mishap with equipment where an aftermarket battery died and didn't save the first cookie. So I'm gonna have to redo that. I know, the, the terrible things that I have to do for the YouTube channel. So I'm gonna have to eat the M&M cookie again. And we're gonna get it on camera this time. The rest is gonna be the same, so we're gonna see a little bit of change in scenery. And I had to film in a different spot altogether. But don't mind that, the rest is going to be the same. So, the original cookie with M&Ms. Looks good, colorful. Actually, that's very good. That's not, not what I was expecting. I think what I like about this is the M&Ms are actually melted into the cookie. So this cookie is served warm and I'm not getting like a crunchy M&M in there. I'm getting kind of a melted chocolatey M&M and it completely changes uh, the really the flavor of the cookie. It's not really what I thought it would be. I mean, it's actually better. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna need a few more bites for sure though. Hmm. Yeah. I'm digging this cookie. It's actually really good. Very similar to the uh, you know, the chocolate chip cookie. Same thickness, texture, consistency. Just instead of the chocolate chips, they um, pop the M&Ms in there. And uh, yeah, it's actually really, really good. Mm -mm. Boy, I love these cookies. <laughs> what an adventure it is every week. Four new ones. Oh. Love it. Last bite. Mm. Pleasantly surprised. Good start. All right, next we're going to move on to the chocolate caramel, I think. Let's try. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Ooh, this one is soft. Oh my gosh. It's the chocolate caramel. All right, so right off the bat, this thing is incredibly soft, melty, doughy. All right, oh, I'm excited for this. Let's see here. Hmm. Ooh, sticky. I got a big piece of that caramel. <laughs> oh yeah, I devoured it. It was almost like a, like a soft fudge brownie in a way. Very chocolatey, like I said, very soft, uh, still warm. Caramel melted over the top. I can taste a little bit of that. Uh, um, they got the sea salt on there. Mm. Now, for as soft and chocolate as it is, I do taste the caramel. Like it, it really does go well. It's uh, it's a, it's a little different. It's not what I thought it was going to be either. But man, caramel is very sticky. Let's uh, let's give it another shot here. 
うんうんうんうんうんうんうんテクスチャーワイズ this is not like a lot of the other cookies it's almost like a, a soft cake with caramel um doesn't resemble so much a, a cookie as it does maybe a warm brownie or something which completely fine hmm yeah this was this was good i mean the, the chocolate caramel combination you know sea salt caramel however that goes is is always wonderful so this was a, a nice little different addition All right, next, let's move on to the one that I am the most excited about. At least I believe so. It is the New York Cheesecake. All right, take a look at that there. Looks like we got some chocolate crumbs that spilled over. That's okay. Oh boy. I am very excited for this one. Mm. Oh yeah. That was worth the wait. Oh, man. That cream cheese frosting is phenomenal more kind of graham cracker crumb stuff on the top this cookie it's served chilled and uh excellent texture it's it's more dense and it, because it's cooler um it has a a different kind of chew to it which i really like um it seems like i'm getting more cookie on there it takes me a little longer to, to chew it if that makes any sense Oh man, I need another bite here. Oh. Hmm. So the cookie itself is, um, you know, it's 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 a it's buttery, kind of the graham cracker, like a like a mild sugar cookie, just not as sweet. And with the amount of frosting, the cream cheese frosting on there, versus like the kind of the strength flavor of the cookie. I have to say the the balance of it is is wonderful. Like the it, the cookie isn't overpowering, but the cream cheese isn't overpowering. It's a really good balance of both. Oh yeah, th this is this is absolutely amazing. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. This was everything I was hoping it could be. I mean, who doesn't love cheesecake? Cream cheese frosting. Mm. Excellent cookie, oh my gosh. Mm. So good. And lastly, we have Chocolate covered strawberry. Let's get a nice look at this. Beautiful looking cookie. Now this is supposed to be very different from the uh, the chocolate cookie from the <clears throat> chocolate caramel. This is supposed to be a cookies and cream cookie. Already I can feel it's thinner, but it's nowhere near as soft. And this, uh, Strawberry cream cheese frosting with a chocolate drizzle. Okay, boy. I'm curious how they pull this off Oh wow Strawberry hits you right away Yeah, this is definitely a very different chocolate uh, cookie than that prior one hmm I don't know that I really taste the cookies and cream part I guess I can kind of has a little bit more uh, Oreo type 
chocolate flavor versus just the regular one. Hmm, I gotta try another bite here. This is, this is interesting. So this is a this is an interesting cookie. So when you when you take a bite out of it, it's the strawberry frosting or the strawberry cream cheese frosting that comes out and hits you, and it kind of dominates the flavor on your palate <clears throat> for about two thirds of the bite. And then kind of once that wears off, then you kind of get into the you know the the cookies and cream cookie part, and that's kind of the finish. And then really you don't taste the strawberry at all. Kind of interesting. I, I feel as though these two flavors, they're great, and it's interesting how they put them together, but they don't, they don't match perfectly. Um, they don't blend, um, maybe as well as they could. But I mean, I get it, you know, strawberry, chocolate, like, you know, those are both powerful flavors. Oh, well, we're definitely gonna need to polish this one off to really get a full diagnosis. Yep, same thing. Strawberry just hits you up front. And then the last part of the bite, you just don't taste it anymore. All you taste is that chocolate cookie. Um, okay, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just kind of interesting how it does that. All right, last bite. Very sadly, boy, that comes to an end so quickly. So now, <clears throat> I'm gonna let it ponder a little bit here, and we're gonna rate each cookie individually and give a weekly score. All right, I've had a few minutes to digest it, think about it, process it, and now let's give these cookies a rating. Let's start with the original with M&Ms. Now, this cookie did surprise me. Um, Again, I said I'm, I'm not the hugest fan of M&Ms. I got nothing against them, but they, they don't. there's no magic in them for me. They, they, they just don't excite me. But the way they made the cookie, uh, with the M&Ms melted in there, and it, it just gave a different complexity with the chocolate. And I have to say, I was pleasantly surprised by it. I ended up liking it a lot more than I thought I would. I mean, don't get me wrong. I knew I was going to like it. It's just I didn't think it was going to kind of tickle the senses as much as they did. So I thought it was a great cookie. Uh, I'm gonna give that one an 8.5. Now let's move on to the chocolate caramel cookie. Now this was an interesting cookie. It was certainly the softest cookie I've ever had from Crumble, uh, just falling apart, big chunk of caramel on it, a little bit of sea salt. Uh, it was a great cookie. It just, uh, I don't know, it, it lacked uh, a little bit of depth for me. Um, I mean, the caramel was great, the chocolate was great. I, I, I don't know, it just, it didn't, it didn't do as much for me as I was, I was, I was hoping. It's hard for me to pinpoint to say what maybe was missing. I mean, it, it was delicious, but it just didn't hit that wow factor for me. So I'm gonna give that one an eight. Next, we'll move on to the New York cheesecake. Now, I had almost unfair high expectations for this one. Uh, it was a chilled cookie, which matched it really well. The balance between the actual cookie, that buttery graham cracker type, uh, with the uh, cream cheese frosting, it was a perfect balance. Uh, not too much of one or the other, and I have to say that cookie met all of my expectations. Absolutely amazing. One of the best cookies I've ever had from Crumble. I'm gonna give that one a 9.5. And lastly, we'll move on to the chocolate covered strawberry. Now I also had kind of high expectations for this one as well. Um, I do love me some strawberry cream cheese like frosting, cookies and cream, Oreos. I was curious to see how this was gonna be pulled off. Uh, sadly, this didn't quite meet my expectations. I thought it was gonna be a little bit better than it was. Uh, the strawberry cream cheese frosting was great. The, the chocolate <clears throat> cookies and cream cookie, it was great. The two just, they didn't go together correctly. I don't know, I, again, I just, it kind of reminded me of the, the peanut butter banana cookie uh, last week. That was an, just an amazing cookie, like it, it just tickled your taste buds and senses all over the place. 
but there was just something a little bit missing where the two flavors just didn't meld as well as they could have. I felt this was the same with this cookie. The strawberry and the chocolate cookie, they were just completely separate entities. All I tasted was strawberry at first, and then all I tasted was chocolate at the end. They didn't, like, I didn't have that combination of flavors that created something new out of it. So, again, I mean, it was delicious, but it really fell short. So I'm gonna give that one a 7.5. And now that'll give us the weekly score of 33.5. Uh, I believe that is the lowest weekly score we've had so far, but I have to say one of the very best cookies I've ever had um, was part of this weekly lineup. So absolutely fabulous. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next episode.